Hi, my name is Miguel from avoidarius.net and this is a short tutorial on how to set up an FTP client using FileZilla. So let's begin. Make sure you download FileZilla client. The link is in the description box. And remember, FileZilla Win32 is compatible with 64-bit operating systems. Now, as you can see, I'm currently not running any website on my test domain. So I'm going to upload my site using FileZilla client. Now open FileZilla and click on Site Manager. In the Site Manager you can create a new folder and in that new folder you can create a new site. I'm just going to create a new site without the folder. Now here you can name your site perfect and in the general tab where it says host you can put your domain name without the www like you see here you don't need a www anymore port number 21 and leave protocol and encryption as is unless specified by the hosting company In the logon type, select normal and then type your username and password. Now, if you click OK, it will save your settings but will not connect. If you click connect, it will save your settings and connect to the remote site. Directory listing successful. Perfect. Now here is my remote site and my local site so I can look for my website from here and just drag and drop it into my root folder here. I'm going to minimize this because I have my folders in my desktop. So I'm going to drag and drop my uh, website into the root folder. I'm going to select all the files in there and then drag it into the root folder. perfect directory listing successful again now I can go back and refresh the site and my site should be running perfect here it is now I can add a link here so people can download a document a music or a book whatever I put there I can create a link so they will be able to download it from my site I'll show you what I mean say I want to put a document this document into my website so people can download it from accessing my website I'm gonna drag and drop it into the uh, forms folder so I can keep things organized and drag and drop it into my root folder in my website now it's inside my uh, remote site and here is the document. Now I know for a fact that is www.avoiderrors.com forward slash forms forward slash avoid errors. But just in case you don't know, you can always right click and copy the URL. Right click, copy URL to clipboard. Now you can go to your um, program where you created your site select a text like this one here and then when you paste the link is gonna look like this your username and FTP you have to change the username remove the username and put a www dot and remove the FTP and change it to an HTTP that's it now save your settings and re-upload your site just like you saw at the beginning and now when you click the link here it is you can download that file from the uh, remote site now sometimes it works sometimes it don't work because of the permissions if it doesn't work you have trouble downloading something you can always go back to your FileZilla select your document right click 
and click on file permissions and here you can modify the uh, permissions to read write or execute like you see here now say you say you're currently running a website but you want to add a blog all you need to do is create a subfolder in the root folder like you see here I'm currently running WordPress so I installed a subfolder and here I installed WordPress and I added a link from my site to the blog to access the blog all you need to do is type forward slash and the name of the subfolder like you see here and now your client would have access to your blog and your site thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you